I'm gonna say it's a little bit behind this guy. So let's make it look like it's a little bit darker. We're in kind of like a shadow. Okay. Just closer, closer lines that will come out. My dog is totally clawing on my chair right now, so it's... <laughs> Hang on, sugar, you're fine. It's really hard to ink with the camera in front of me. And my... <laughs> okay. So you have these thick lines. I'm not thick lines, like closely placed, so they kind of separate from that. So this piping is separated from this one a little bit more. And you can go and do and touch up the lines. And if you want to go back in and do another little crossover. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing, but I will You'll see it a little bit better on these guys that are a little more separated. Okay, so there. And let's see, what other ones can we do? Let's see. Hmm. Again, it depends on whether or not you've been working with a pencil for a long time. You can, you'll know where you can add a little more or just just stick to exactly what's there. But just for silly fun, I'm going to add a couple more wires down here, just some little ones. As an anchor, sometimes you want to have a little bit of fun to add a little bit more just to kind of, oops, dry brush again. Okay. There's not much going on other than that. Um, and there's a couple more big ones like that guy and that guy. So you can do, use more lines. Boom, boom, boom. Fade it out. And fade it out. And it goes behind. And help show this guy's curving curving and so now he's gonna curve curves this way and then now it's gonna curve this way so here's what I do it goes flat there and you start curving the other way to show that the wire is curving under. And if you need to go back and use your contour lines to help show that a little bit more. Whew. Just to keep things moving And um, let's see, let's go down. Um, okay. And this big guy here.
Okay, you can give it a little edge like that big. It looks like it has a little edge. Goes away. You can use a template again, use your ellipse, but this, what I'm inking right here, he's been in battle, he's wrecked, so he's not gonna be all perfect and pristine. And, um, it's it's fine to show some imperfection because it would kind of look misplaced if this is all like perfect no bends no dings after you've been in battle and obviously all you know, his wiring is hanging out he's taking some abuse Sometimes I'll just double up a line just to give it a little more interest. Or triple. <laughs> and you can fade it out too. It doesn't have to go all the way around. Fade those two out. Keep this guy. That looks a little empty to me. There's nothing there right now in pencils, but you can kind of finish it. This is finish that, and uh, maybe there's another wiring that's behind this that's coming out from underneath. You can show a little bit of that. You can go in and help define it if you want to, or give it a little shadow underneath and um, just to make it look more complete and let's see okay I'm looking at it now um, what do I need to do I want to kind of you know, give a little more thickness to that bottom one right there it's, it's underneath it's gonna catch some shadow underneath it a little bit like I don't add I don't spot blacks for the pencilers I just kind of follow what they've done and maybe give it a little more more thickness just to help with the lighting or depth or separation um, especially when you have a lot going on so but maybe there's a little another little one underneath here now make him bend that way, so just following this guy. You can black it out too, fade it into black. It goes underneath. Um, what else do you want to do? Okay, but that's about it. So there it is. A whole cluster of mess of wiring. Finish this guy out too. Might as well. Do, do. You can circle the other way. Oh, and boom. Boom. Mm -hmm. Maybe it has a little screw right there. Maybe. <laughs> All right. Um, but, yep. There you go, guys. See you next time.